This video was sponsored by Ishin Studio. More about them at the end of this video. Hello there. And yes, I am perfectly aware that almost every soul partaking in the viewership of this video is from the land known as Great Britain. How do I know this fascinating piece of information? Am I a magician? Am I dabbling in the dark arts? Do I have mind reading properties? No. It's just what YouTube told me, you doof. Well, anyway, aside from that, the reason I'm doing this is because I asked what I should do a video on in my Discord server, and this is what you said. So I'm just going to cover stereotypical British things, and yeah, first of all, I'm going to cover tea. I love tea. You should know what it is, it's quite famous. And apparently, according to this Google list, everyone in the United Kingdom is addicted to this wonderful beverage. And what do I have to say to this interesting fact? It's kind of right, but not entirely. We do all, most of us, love our tea here, but I can guarantee to you that not everyone here likes it. For example, while I show up in virtual school with my cup of tea, my friend pulls up with a flask of coffee. Coffee. Hello, I'm from the future, and I'm sorry if you are someone who drinks flasks full of coffee, but the only reason I'm saying this is because using age groups, unless you're the age of 18, only two cups of coffee is, is healthy for you, or else you can get stunted growth, so be careful about that. That's, nobody understands why. You just get coffee in the morning. And it's not even just like a cup, it's like an entire flask full of it. Now, we go on to the next subject according to this wonderful Google list. And apparently, people think that us Brits are overly polite. And all I have to say to that is, you might as well throw it out of a window. It's slightly not true. As, uh... British people are just, they don't, they're not overly polite, they're just normal. They're just normal people. And yeah. Next one, humour. Google says that we are well known for our sense of sarcasm and irony, and all I can have to say to that is, it's 100% true. Boo. And as I was writing this, I thought to myself, who would have guessed, insert drum snare. Yes, now applaud my supreme power. Football. Yep. That exists. In here in Britain, we like our football a lot. Like, very much. For example, as one of my friends put it, footballing melons. A very strange choice of words, but that's what he used. And now, weather. Horrible British weather. You might have heard people talk about British weather. It is mostly miserable and grey, or rain. But for some reason, I think it's most likely to do with climate change. It's been changing to snowing to blast furnace non-stop, and it is mildly annoying. Yeah. So anyway, food. Anyone here... Tried crisps, not chips, crisps. Crisps are the ones you get in packets, chips are the ones you have with fish. Crisps are delicious. And this Google list says we eat a total of 500 million packets a day, which is definitely not true because I mean that every person on Britain would need to eat over six packets of crisps a day, which we don't. We don't have that many crisps. But we do like our crisps here. We also like our fish and chips. Fish and chips is delicious. Can't say anything otherwise. Splishity splash, your opinion is trash. And now onto the last subject. Apparently people think we over-apologize and say sorry too much, which I don't think is true. 
and that's the end of that. And now I'm just going to show you videos of people and their tea, because people like tea, and this video is quite tea based. And yeah, now we get to look at tea and people. Wait, no, 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 no don't, I don't mean it like that. I would say that tea is pretty damn pog. It's probably like the biggest British stereotype, and the worst bit about it is it's probably true. I can literally make a cup of tea in under 30 seconds if the kettle's boiled. I am no joke in the speedrunning category for tea. Okay, you get it. Tea's good, and I'm an idiot. Now, Dino, where's my five pounds? You owe me. Now, a word from our sponsor, Ishan Studio. Ishan Studio is a game developer who have created this epic game called Blue Man Run, out for the PC and Xbox, and now I'm going to let the ad play.